the red corner we have Idris Niazi. I believe I said that right, Idris? Yeah, Idris Niazi. Niazi, that's a fun one to say. <laughs> he is fighting out of the Tomicelli Academy. He's 6'2", and this is his amateur debut. Okay. California. Ooh, knows how to party. Knows how to party. Ooh. What a fun walkout song. Since we're in Cali, I would say an A plus on style points. He's super mellow though. Very calm. Focus. He'll be facing Paul Head from the arena here in San Diego. He's fighting a local. Also making his debut. From the arena. Please welcome Tom Okay. Shout out to Coach Charles from the arena. It's really walkout song though. <laughs> The arena's really awesome team, really awesome coaches. They've got some great striking. I think we can expect a banger. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> also a veteran fighting under same coach from the arena is Liz Carmouche. And man, we've all seen how she's been fighting. So let's see if her teammates can put on a show quite like that. in Naranza's past Texas. How random is that? Wow. Yeah. Awesome coach. Shout out to Coach Charles. What's yeah, up? Yeah, hey. Cause Wolf Tattoo. Some pretty cool Ladies tattoos. We have this belt in the middleweight division. Three two-minute rounds. Let's see our warriors. This is both these guys' debuts, so we'll see. We'll see what's... If they could hear me, I'd tell them, hands up, heads down. Get a little movement in there. Coach always tells me, he's like, hands up, hands up. Hey. First thing I do, hands up. Oh, now they're both waist level. First thing, I want to I want to have fun. Have fun. That's a good one, too. <laughs> but still keep your hands up, though. <laughs> don't forget that. Have fun, but don't get crazy. Yeah, yeah, have fun, but keep your hands up, though. So this is a very exciting moment for both fighters, never stepping in the cage. Nobody really has any idea what they're going to do yet. They're just ready to go do it. Your heart starts racing. It's almost like muscle memory. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh. Nice hook. I feel like Paul Head knows what he's about to do. Got some two under. Let's see. But a great oh, body shot knees. by Idris. An uppercut. Oh, nice, nice trip. Attempt the trip. 
Good recovery by Paul, Good getting his cage feet back pressure, under him. Circling off the cage is Paul, getting those double unders. He's looking for the two under hooks. He could start to fight for a takedown, but there was a break. And back on there, feet and striking. They're both kind of measuring, yeah. Oh, oh. That looked like a crotch shot to nice me. Nice body shot Did by not Paul. affect him, though. I feel like Paul needs to set up these kicks a little bit more. Throw some strikes first. Yeah. He's got the double he under. Can for a take he can, he can take his it. back here. He can take his back here. Nice defense. He's doing a good job kind of trying to find his head pressure. Searching those double unders. Paul needs to get an underhook here. Yeah. He can start to use his right leg to hook underneath the foot and kind of use that to pull him out. Get his feet a little off balance. This helps with the takedown. However, there's a big battle going on with their arms. They're pummeling really well. Hard to control someone. Nice kick by Idris. There's all kinds of judo throws from here. A knee, a knee could cause some good damage when you're in those double unders position. They're Beautiful just, they're throw just, attempt. They're just both fighting for positions right now. Nice takedown by Paul. Great way to end the round. I think he won this round with the takedown right at the end here. He went right into side control. I would like to see more of a guard and a guard recovery from Idris if he gets taken down again. Paul did a really good job finishing that takedown, passing the guard and ending up in a dominant position. You, you, you give this round to Paul? Yes, because at the end he scored a takedown, he had control. I didn't see any other huge factors that Idris did. Maybe did he hit him? Did he rock him? Did he stumble? So I would say that more control and more domination came from the blue corner. It depends on how it's seen, though. Maybe Idris had higher of a punch count. I think nice uh, ankle I, pick. I agree with you, but I feel like Paul landed most of the big shots, landed the big takedown, and did, just took control of the, the whole cage. So I feel, uh, I feel Paul got that round also. Out of the arena, starting out strong. So this is a two-minute round, guys. So this is a sprint. These guys are sprinting right now. With the six-minute war, you do not take a breath. Ooh. It looks oh. like, oh, God. Oh, I think illegal. that was an that was an illegal. That looked like a knee, foot right to the head. But oh, Paul doing yeah, Paul a great recovered. job. He capitalized off of an illegal move, and now he's taking the back. Wow. Good what a warrior. Good, Good job, job Paul. Paul. If he, he passed the guard, absolutely beautiful pass. He's causing some damage here. Idris trying to get his guard back, but Paul just slicing through it like butter. Absolutely beautiful passing, looking to control the arm. So right now, they're just doing jujitsu. I would like to see a little bit more strikes coming from Paul. Um, not just trying to hold. These are, you know, quick rounds. Maybe look for a submission. He Transition a little bit He went bit more. for a hammer fist, but then Idris started to kind of posture up. He went back to the control. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Nice. We got some hammer fists. An up kick by Idris. Ooh. Good job on Paul. He could have kicked him in the head, been think, one and I one, think, but he didn't. So I think he hurt himself on that kick. I think he hurt his foot. Paul didn't look, he looked like he didn't like that kick after that. Oh, oh nice, nice body, body shot, shot by Paul. Oh, no, a two by Idris. A takedown by Paul. Idris sprawling. Nice work on Idris. Nice, nice head and arm throw by Paul. Yes. That was beautiful. Picture perfect judo, my friend. Now he's Dropped got the arm right traps. On his head. Picture right on perfect his head. judo. Typical Ronda Rousey. Absolutely perfect head and arm throw. Landing into judo side control. He is now trapping that front arm. Idris is doing a good job. What I would like to see Paul do is kind of use one leg to trap over and throw 10 punches. There's 10 seconds left to eight seconds. Cause some damage, throw a punch. 
but there dominating you this round. There you go. We got some punches. Wow. I would have to give round two by Paul. I think we're going to need to see a, a finish, either a submission or a TKO from Idris. That throw, though. Idris Woo. looks really tired right now, so I think he's going to take a lot out of him to get this finish. He's got to have to dig deep and, you know, dig deep inside of him. And get mad. Get that finish. Get mad. Get mad. Get mad. You know, I, I know, like, a lot of times we do meditate, so when you go in there, you don't fight emotionally. But sometimes when you're digging deep, you get a little mad, and you're like, oh, man, F this guy. I'm coming back. What a beautiful head and arm throw picture. Perfect. He reached around, got his hips, turned 180. This 180 completely caused Idris to make a T-motion, and this threw his way over the body into a strong, controlling judo side. Let's see what happens. Right, round, round three. three. I wonder if we're going to see an Uchimata in there. Nice. Oh! A 2-3-2. Two, two. A beautiful 2-3-2 two, two by Paul. And he just drops him. He drops him, gets on top, and finishes with a powerful TKO. Ref was quick to call that over and rightfully deserved. He beat him on the ground, on the feet. A dominant victory coming out of the arena for Mr. Paul Head. Wow. I wonder if we can call him Wolf by the tattoo on his chest, the si on his side. Paul Wolf. Paul the Wolf Head. Oh, Paul Wolf Head. Paul the Wolf Head. Or what about just Paul Wolf Head? Not the Wolf Head. Can you just be Paul Wolf Head? Yeah. Paul Wolf Paul Head. Wolf Head. But I feel like they always put the, like Juliana, the killer, Miller, Paulina, the firefox. Paul Wolfhead. It sounds Wolf like, head it is. It sounds cool. Wolfhead it is. A great victory. Coach Charles looking happy in the corner. Sign of respect Ooh. from the coaches. They're going over to shake some hands. Fight number 20 of the night. He is from 10 Planet Jiu Jitsu Fullerton 5'7. This is also his debut. Weighing in at a flyweight division at a ready one, 24.6. Perfect weight. And then in the blue corner, we got Fernando Mendoza out of XL Jiu Jitsu. Also making his debut. They're both 23 years old. However, we have about. A four, four, inch, yeah. four inch height difference between Hung and Mendoza. You could tell it's been a long night because I was like, one, two. <laughs> She's a little faster. <laughs> so Fernando Mendoza is actually coming in lighter and shorter. So interesting to see this little firecracker. You know, sometimes not cutting weight can be a good thing. Have a lot more energy, you're not drained. All right, ladies and gentlemen, another amazing bow. This one comes to an end at 15 seconds of the third round. Oh, we're still you on this one. <laughs> Congratulations, Paul Wolfhead.